Hello Acceleration Nation, it is Lara Moto here and today I am with the wonderful Maya Kenny. Hi Maya, how are you Hi, doing? Hi Lara, I'm very good, thank you. You are running a touring business around North Wales called Maya's Motorcycle Adventures? I've been taking people around North and Mid Wales for a long time now, so it seemed like a natural progression to make it into a business. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> um, it's North and Mid Wales sort of for day trips. Um, okay. But um, I'm putting together a sort of five day uh, tour of Wales as well, so we do the whole lot. And obviously it's a small country, so it'll be zigzaggy a bit, but yes. you see quite a lot. And see it. the best yeah. bits. Yeah. And so what week, days of the week are you available? Um, it, it's very flexible. It's whenever pe there's an inquiry. So yep. obviously if you have a group of friends you want to come with, just contact me and we'll find the best date that suits you. And there will be some on the website that are available and you just book on that. Got it. As and, they go. And is this groups of people or individuals? It can be either. Yes. Yeah, quite happy to cater for individuals. Um, I, I understand that some people might not like to travel in a big group, yep. especially if they don't know people. Yes. Uh, also going to do ladies' own exclusive ride outs. Oh, really? So, yes, because I think some some of the ladies maybe are not too confident going out with the boys. Okay. You, you know, they, they might feel better yeah. if there's a small group of ladies so that will be available too. Both of us are keen to just find more women riding bikes, a little bit less women on the back of bikes and kind of empowering women to get on the front of the bike. <laughs> and, and those who have the bike in the garage to take it out and ride and have fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One thing I find great about Maya is hey, it's not about egos on the road. No. It's and, and it's okay to have them because I feel a bit bolshy on my bike sometimes I want to go places. But actually what Maya offers is 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 safe tailored tours to what she believes are, are the best views in, in, in the country and I, I can't help but agree um, I've seen better places as a result of joining Maya um, on these days out um, and yes you can find these tours and you can research them all yourself but it's so much easier just to meet up at a location and go right let's go play and so you're anticipating all of that, the, the, the views, the stops, the pictures, yeah. the journey. And it's also the local knowledge of um, knowing which roads are being redone or yes. know, are they closed or what's happening. And but I think also with, with the, the, my tools, like I said, there's no ego, but um, as, as you've seen, if there's a, a, a fun, fast road, I will say, you can overtake me, go a bit faster here, yeah. have a bit of fun, yep. and then stop at the end and wait for the group. So. That caters to, a, to a, a wider audience, as it were, so you do get to just, you know, pop over the throttle bit nice and safely on the yep. roads that you've already seen and seen beforehand, so that, that's pretty good. Yep. So Maya has done an advanced rider scheme, which has, again, given her the rights to, to ride a blood bike safely, but that also just makes her a great person to learn from on the road if you just want a few hints or tips. And again, if you think you're a riding god, and you probably are, you can also enjoy tours out with Maya because she's going to take on you on roads that you've never done before or experienced before so you get to little, see a bit more that's I guess on your doorstep mm. so it really does cater cater for everyone and then the best bit is where sometimes where you stop <laughs> so there's in summer weathers we've got ice creams and maybe a bit colder weathers we've got a nice warm coffee waiting for us but then you can stop absorb all the views and take some pretty nice photos of your motorbike um maybe give it a clean before you come up <laughs> um, <laughs> oh i don't know when you come to wales it rains a lot <laughs> it does and it does rain but it's not the end of the world that doesn't yeah. again you go out in all weather conditions i do yeah um, i've seen some great footage from uh, neil neil yeah, yeah neil and i had a day out training he he was following he was training me and yeah. uh, it was oh it was so wet <laughs> um was um, quite miserable if it wasn't for the fact that we had lots of fun and actually i learned a lot more knowing that i have got the confidence now to ride in horrible weather like that as well so again that's credit to to his training really because obviously oh, um, he's brilliant yeah yeah uh, so um one of our twitter friends uh, neil jewel aka gruffalo scoot runs <laughs> his own <laughs> hi neil uh hi, neil. <laughs> runs I guess uh, uh, rider training. I um, I've had a session with him and it was awesome. I learned so much uh, and it improved. It improved. I guess for, it improved both of us really. It mm. gave us more confidence on the road, just dealing with different scenarios and being better riders. Yeah. And essentially, the whole point of getting additional training is just being safer. It's like anything, isn't it? You're having to um, sharpen your skills all the time. You can become too complacent, and that's very dangerous when you're riding a motorbike. And also, what I find particularly uh, comforting is the fact that you're an advanced rider i ride for blood bikes so you have to do sort of like an enhanced rider scheme okay. um, obviously you're carrying 
precious cargo so oh. to make sure that you are um, responsible then but just we can we call ourselves blood bike blood whales bikers. Yeah. blood bike whales right yeah. got it yeah um, so that that's worth a look and again they're always looking for donations um it's one of those hidden hidden services really because it's not funded by the nhs uh it's done on the on the on volunteers time essentially um and they have to buy the bikes maintain the bikes purely out their own pocket it. yeah yep. yeah no so we 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 offer our service for free to the nhs um for transport of blood samples breast milk for newborn babies uh documents all sorts of things um lots of um covid test samples as well okay um during the pandemic so it's been a busy busy service and um all the events fundraising events had to stop so yeah donations are even more welcome now donate to any of the services local to you um the blood bikers definitely appreciate it and if you're a biker you never know when you might need it um <laughs> So Maya, we obviously have the tour sorted. So you've got you got Wales nipped, um, and then you're starting to work your way into Europe, Switzerland, yep. Bavaria, Slovenia, yep. Croatia. My network is growing across Europe of other bike tour guides. It, when they bring in people to Wales, I can help them on the ground, find accommodation, some routes. Okay. But when we go to I don't know German-speaking, French-speaking countries, yes. um, then we have help. I'd like to join you on one of those tours anytime because um, I've ventured as far as well south to the Pyrenees yeah but I've never really just been brave enough to go let's explore somewhere else and it feels like a great opportunity to go somewhere where it's is catered for especially with a, a local that would know the area and know where the best bits are yeah I think um, a lot of us are adventurous and we quite like doing yeah. our own thing and finding new routes but sometimes it's really just nice change to be taken somewhere else and you don't have to worry about where you're going to sleep that night yeah. what route to take hassle, am it? I missing something really cool in the area and I'm going yeah. to come home and somebody will go did you go there and you go oh no I didn't know it was there <laughs> so it's true um, and also it's great to have a nice group together sometimes you know when you're traveling on your own the best thing about it is you get to make all the decisions but the yes. worst thing about it is you get to make all the decisions <laughs> <laughs> uh, the whole I think sense of being together in a group in a foreign country it makes you feel a little bit less intimidated when you come to stop and try and order your lunch in a foreign language. And I'm not even <laughs> going to try and attempt any... Slovenian? No. <laughs> but you mean the capital of Slovenia? Yes, please. town where I'm born. Yeah. In Ljubljana. Ljubljana. That's very Sick. good. Yeah, get in. I, for me, I'm the, hap I'm the happiest on a bike in the mountains. Yeah. So the, 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 the higher you get, the bendier it is. For nice flowy bends, mountain views, yeah, happy Maya. Your tours suit both all riding styles really. You're going to get a little bit of both and you're still going to yeah. develop yourself in the corners that you're not, not that used to and familiar with. So that's of course. worth the time out. Um, Maya, how are, the, how are your potential customers going to get in touch with you? On social media or yep. through my website. Phone me. So it's time to wrap up this interview to a close. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the chat and meeting, and meeting Maya. Please check out, well, A, her socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and her website. Um, you'll get all the details there, and she's entirely reachable through all of those channels. Um, just get on one of her, her tours. Even if you think you know Wales, just go and try it. Go and meet some new friends, meet Maya, and spend more time on your bike, because that's what being a rider is all about. Yeah, yeah, and don't worry about the wet. Yes, right. exactly. We'll go out anyway. <laughs> Don't worry about the weather. Um, so we, Maya and I would like to thank you very much for watching um, and we hope to see you on the road very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much for watching. Just before we close, here's a little bit of our blooper reel. And today I am with the wonderful Maya Kennedy. Hey, Maya. How are you it's doing? Maya Kenny. <laughs> We'll start again. Why did I come up with Kennedy? I don't know. <laughs> I'll try again. Go There'll be then. many takes. That's all right. <laughs> 17. <laughs> um, looks like Gwen's kindly brought us some coffees. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Um, and pallets. Pallets. Pallets? Cut out. Pallets. Platelets. 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 <laughs> oh, we'll get rid of these just for continuity. <laughs> Let's hit. Uh, let's just do the <laughs> <You have> coffee. Really <laughs> it off on camera. <laughs> That'd be so weird. Outtake. <laughs> um, we're all brilliant, but we could be better. <laughs> God. Through <laughs> <Do> that. <laughs> Tell me about your off-road experience, no. Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs>